How's it going everyone? Jonathan Ratcliffe here with the Ratcliffe team of Keller Williams Realty. Today I'm going to be talking about why you should use a buyer's agent uh, or leasing agent. And I'd first like to say before I became an agent four years ago, I was on the other side of this where I was looking for a lease property. And I completely avoided using an agent because my understanding was they got to get paid somehow. Um, so I don't know where I got this idea from, but maybe I thought, you know, I remember looking, it was like a $2,000 lease. And I thought, if I were to use an agent, they're probably going to get paid somehow through myself. So I would pay $2,000. Well, if I'm using an agent, maybe maybe the maybe the lease goes up to 2100 or something like that. I don't know where I got that wild idea. Um, so I completely avoided using agents at all costs. Now I know the truth, and that is, it is 100% free to you to use a realtor, whether you're looking for a lease or to purchase a property as a primary residence or an investment. Um, the way buyer's agents get paid is the seller's agent already negotiates with the owner. This is how much commission we'll take, and then part of that will go to pay the buyer's agent. So just know that it's 100% free to you to use a buyer's agent. Uh, or leasing agent, so you might as well do it. Two, you are going to get the education from that buyer's agent on the contracts, and they're gonna make sure to protect you throughout the entire process. Um, they look at these things every day. A good agent should know the contract, all the ins and outs of it, um, and they're gonna know what points are critical for you uh, to be aware of, so that, again, you're protected throughout the process. And that's probably the most important thing of this. You know, it's, it's easy for you to go nowadays on Zillow, Trulia, uh, Redfin to find a home, although those are not the, most, the best resources to find one. It's easy to go and find something you like, um, but what you can't do is, you know, understand, learn, and know the entire ins and outs of the contract and what's best practices. So that's where they're gonna help you. Now let's go back to what I just mentioned in the best resources. A good realtor is gonna have the best resources. It's not just about using those third-party sites. The MLS, the multiple listing service, is where all the realtors put their listings. Um, and then that gets syndicated out to those third-party sites. So, of course, your realtor is going to have access to that MLS. And that's going to be the most raw data. That's the, the hub of where it all comes. So that's the most accurate data. And it's updated, I think, every 16 seconds or so. Um, also, they're going to have access to off-market properties, things that you don't see on any site, uh, things that they just hear about within the office. Like, for example, myself, I'm in an office with over 900 agents. So we have a bulletin and, you know, Facebook groups and stuff that if there's something coming up, like it's going to be ready in two weeks, then, you know, I oh, this is a perfect fit for my client who's looking for, you know, a property in Circle C and in her budget, uh, I would love to show that to them before it comes on the market and everybody, it's a feeding frenzy, you know? So off-market properties, that's the next thing. After that, of course, it's just simply opening the door. You don't have access to open the door to all these places without having to call every single realtor, whether you're looking for a lease or a property to purchase. So having a realtor, a go-to person, it doesn't matter if it's Keller Williams listing or another listing from J.B. Goodwin or whoever else in town, you, uh, that realtor has access to those properties by using their lock, lockbox privileges. And then, lastly, after the transaction's done, you get the perfect home for you, then what? The, the main thing is you're going to need a handyman, a plumber, a roofer, an electrician, all those good things. And you're going to go crazy trying to find the best one. What are the Yelp ratings? Who's, your realtor should have a Rolodex of the best people in town for each of these categories. I know I personally keep a huge list and when someone says, hey, do you have a carpet cleaner or a, a, a house cleaner, whatever it is, I got a long list of those people. And if, if the first one's not available, I got two or three backing up that. So that's the reason, and, and I got this question asked to me actually earlier this week by my cousin. He said, and this is my family, and he wasn't trying to put down what I do. He was just simply asking like, why should I use a buyer's agent? I live in Nebraska. like." tell me the reason. And so I started thinking about that. You know, before I became an agent, I was in the same boat. I really didn't understand. Now I do. And again, one, it's free to use. Two, 
They're going to educate you on the contract uh, and, and walk you through it so that you're protected the whole way through. Three, they're going to provide additional resources and off-market properties, um, of course, using the centralized multiple listing service. Three they're, or four, they're going to be able to open the door to any house that you're interested in. And then five, they're going to have uh, additional resources in order for you to get the best um, the best tradesmen, whether it's a roofer, electrician, plumber, things like that. So use a buyer's agent. It is to your advantage, I promise you. Until next time, friends, talk to you soon.